Yeah. Basically, routes is what we're working on. So, can we just re we we generated random turns for the mother duckling, and think about what Joseph said about trying to make it look like and act like a duck going back and forth. Um, we, we, we set a random so it would always go negative once, always go positive, and then just send that same random in a, new, in a Bluetooth numeric message out to this one. So let's see if we get that one. This one is duckling, and this one is mother. Let's see if that works. So it's a little bit behind. We need a chair for something. <laughs> now, what we tried to do then was to get a bit fancier with the um, with the compass sensor and to take the compass readings uh, from here, how much it deviates from an absolute heading that it takes right at the beginning, send that deviation to here and say, how far away am I from your, your straight number and can you follow me? And because uh, we were just tipping the iceberg, we didn't want to solve the whole thing now. <laughs> we gave ourselves something to do when we get back to our own classrooms. Good idea, um, good idea. So let's see how close we, we got to that. Uh, the answer is not quite. Um, mom compass. Uh oh. I don't see the program here. Duck compass. It wasn't over there. There's duck compass. Okay, so. Mom compass and duck compass. And so this one needs to have a, a, a correction for its gain. Um, it just, it, it's getting the readings, but it's not sending them to the motor block correctly. So there is a little bit more work to do there, but if you get the general idea, so we're pretty happy. And I think we all learned a lot in a very short period of time. So it was excellent. Well, we'll so cheer so for it anyway. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so.